Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math number 1131. Math 1131. So our uh, our friend, um, ooh, sorry about the shadows. I don't know how, how they're going to come up. Uh, our friend uh, Katrina Ag shared this really nice uh, problem. This, this was not a problem of her creation, uh, just a problem she thought was nice. And um, you worked through it this morning. Yep. And um, so I'm going to try to move out of the way to limit the shadows. But um, please uh, explain how you approached this problem and what you thought about it. Okay, so this is, the problem is you have this 1, 1, root 2 right triangle. Um, and it asks, what is the radius of this, kind of a little bit. this semicircle? Okay. That's drawn in here, and it looks like it's tangent to the hypotenuse. That's right, yeah, that's the thing about that semicircle, it's tangent to the hypotenuse. Alright, so, since we don't know the radius, and that's what we're trying to find, I label it as x. Okay. Um, and then I drew in this radius here, which is also x and tangent to this side, which means it hits at a right angle. Okay, good. Um, then you can see that since these angles are both 45, since this is an isosceles right triangle, that this is also, this small triangle here, is an isosceles right triangle as well. Okay, cool. Um, so since these sides are x, we can get two expressions for this side this hypotenuse here. We can get x root 2 um, from the Pythagorean theorem, or we can see that it's 1 minus this x here. So it's either 1 minus x or x root 2, and we can use this to solve for x. So we get x root 2 equals 1 minus x. Um, move the x to the other side and factor it out here, and then we're going to divide by 1 plus root 2, mm -hmm. we get x equals 1 over 1 plus root 2, but we can't leave it like that. We have to multiply by the conjugate, which is 1 minus root 2. So we get 1 minus root 2 over 1 minus 2, which is 1 minus root 2 over minus 1, mm -hmm. and then I just multiply it by minus 1 over minus 1 to get minus 1 plus root 2, or root 2 minus 1. Okay, yeah, that, that is a really nice solution. By the way, you can leave it like that. That's, a, that's okay. Uh, I mean, okay. That, that's also a correct number, but you can, you can rationalize the, new, the, the denominator yes. as well, which is what you did, which is nice. Um, great, that's really nice work and uh, a really great solution. I'm going to show you a, a slightly different solution um, involving power of the point that we looked at power of a point like two or three weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm going to show you a power of a point solution. Okay. 